my name is Katherine Martin, and I'm founder of Quiet Time Ministries. And I am excited to introduce you to Pilgrimage of the Heart, a Quiet Time study in the Psalms from the Quiet Times for the Heart series. In the 1600s, a man named John Bunyan was arrested and imprisoned for 12 years because of his faith in Jesus Christ. And it's been said that Bunyan's time in prison was what really trained him for God's work, for it was there that he was disciplined and given time for thinking, reasoning, and study. It sparked within him a genius and ability to think such that he wrote during that time one of the greatest classics our world has ever known, Pilgrim's Progress. And in this book, one named Christian, who is God's pilgrim, travels from the city of destruction to the celestial city of God. Now, why has this book become such a classic? Well, it's a story that mirrors our own pilgrimage as he confronts obstacles that ultimately fall as he holds fast to Christ by faith. And what we see in that book is the nature of life that it is a journey, and that there are choices all along the way. I'll never forget the day when God opened my eyes to this journey called life. We had moved from San Diego to the desert in the Palm Springs area, and in moving, God took me from the people I loved, the home I loved, the church I loved, the Bible study I loved, Nordstrom that I loved, here to the desert, where we were living in 120 degree heat. I thought God had made a huge mistake. I was devastated. I was, as the psalmist said, so troubled I could not speak. I could hardly even bring myself to read the Bible. But I longed to hear from God and to find out what He was up to. Could this possibly even be His plan? I couldn't believe it. But knowing God and being passionately committed to spending quiet time with Him, I gathered my quiet time materials, my Bible, my quiet time notebook, and I began reading the Psalms. The first Psalm I read was Psalm 84, and I came to Psalm 84 verse 5 and read some very important words in the NIV translation. Listen to these words, Psalm 84 verse 5, blessed are those whose strength is in you, who have set their hearts on pilgrimage. When I read that verse, the word pilgrimage jumped off the page. It grabbed my heart and it literally transformed my life. Pilgrimage, that's what God has me on, a pilgrimage. I'm a pilgrim on a pilgrimage, but it's not just any pilgrimage. If I'm setting my heart on pilgrimage, then it's a pilgrimage of the heart. Well, Psalm 84, became a program of study for me. I went line by line, verse by verse, word by word to hear what the Lord had to say to me. Catherine, you are my pilgrim. Your home is not here on earth, but with me. Don't sink your roots down deeply anywhere. And with that Psalm came the powerful truths of what it means to be a pilgrim on a pilgrimage of the heart. I realized that the most important thing I could understand was what it means to be on this pilgrimage. Oh, what an adventure I had as I studied Psalm after Psalm and God taught me about being His pilgrim in this world. The result is pilgrimage of the heart. Satisfy your longing for adventure with God. This is the first book of quiet times I ever wrote and contains life-changing quotes and stories from some of my very favorite authors. I want to invite you to discover for yourself the exciting adventure with God in the Psalms by setting your own heart on pilgrimage and taking the journey in my book of quiet times, Pilgrimage of the Heart, Satisfy Your Longing for Adventure with God. Pilgrimage of the Heart is designed to take you on a journey through the Psalms and learning what it really means to be on this pilgrimage. It means to find your home more and more in God Himself, enjoying God's presence, His strength, His beauty, and living more and more in the world as an alien in a foreign land. You realize this world is not your home. The Lord is your home. You will begin by studying Psalm 84, what I call the pilgrimage psalm, and you will learn all about the character and landscape of your pilgrimage. Then 
You will study Psalm 13 and learn about the song of the pilgrim. For times when your trial seems prolonged and you can't seem to see the face of God in your life. In Psalm 46, you will learn about the refuge of the pilgrim and how to find shelter in the Lord himself when you experience storms. Psalm 5 will teach you the devotion of the pilgrim, helping you learn how to draw near to God. Psalm 107 will show you the prayer of the pilgrim and how to cry out to God no matter what you face in life. In Psalm 73, you will learn about the faith of the pilgrim and how to make those life-changing choices that help you live and walk by faith. Finally, Psalm 27 will teach you all about the home of the pilgrim, where you see that the Lord is everything you need. And friend, by the time you've completed this study in the Psalms, all about your pilgrimage with the Lord, you will never look at life the same. Your relationship with God will be deeper and richer as you are now focused on your journey with Him. Oh, how powerful it is when one person sets their heart on pilgrimage. And that's what Pilgrimage of the Heart is designed to do for you, help you draw near to God know and love Him, and experience Him moment by moment as you journey with Him through life. Pilgrimage of the Heart is a book of quiet times that you can study on your own or with a group. This study includes a leader's guide, discussion questions, nine viewer guides. Then there are nine messages on DVDs or for download to your computer or iPod to listen to and watch. This eight-week study of quiet times is an adventure with God, and you will never be the same. Each day you will draw near to God in quiet time as you prepare your heart, read and study God's Word, adore God in prayer, yield yourself to God, enjoy His presence and rest in His love. Pilgrimage of the Heart is filled with devotional reading, devotional Bible study, hymns, prayer, and application. All you need is your Bible and pilgrimage of the heart for a rich time alone with the Lord. And your quiet time will never be the same. Once you have studied pilgrimage of the heart, you will discover that it's more than a Bible study. It's more than a devotional. It's quiet time. So I encourage you to grab a copy of pilgrimage of the heart your Bible, get some friends to study with you, watch the messages on DVD or downloadable M4V, and then watch to see what God will do. Exciting things happen when you embark on the pilgrimage of the heart with the Lord. You find your strength in the Lord. You have a refuge in the storms of life. You experience the companionship and fellowship of the Lord as you talk with Him. You will realize that He has a plan and He has a purpose for you. You look forward to your eternal home in heaven where you live forever. I want you to experience this great adventure of knowing God as His pilgrim. He is so much more than you can imagine. And in knowing Him, you will never be the same. And so, dear friend, I invite you to get pilgrimage of the heart Grab your Bible and begin praying, Lord, set my heart on pilgrimage. God bless you.